those who face menstrual problems can do bhadrasanam to increase metabolism ayurveda recommends practicing yoga daily on a daily basis you can use coconut oil that is easily available Anjana Sakti Ayurveda is science of life it is 3000 4000 years old but still in practice and the central theory of ayurveda is trudosha siddhanta which is uh, we have uh, sharirika as well as manasika doshas sharirika doshas are vada pitta kapha and manasika doshas are rajas and tamas vada is basically movements in our body like inhalation expiration pitta is basically metabolism all the metabolism happening in our body like digestion and uh, every energy transformations in our body and kapha is lubrication as well as it is uh, support to our body like it supports our every structure mainly joints ayurveda recommends daily abhyangam abhyangam is oil massage we have several specially prepared ayurvedic medicine oils but that we use according to the health conditions on a daily basis you can use coconut oil that is easily available and sesame oil as well we can take that and we can do abhyangam by ourselves <music> Along with our treatments, Ayurvedic treatments, we also prefer yoga as well, and we advise certain yoga poses for specific conditions. We can start a yoga session by loosening exercises, like loosening of every joints. We can start it from the neck, and we can come down. You can start practicing uh, Surya Namaskara. Surya Namaskara is combines stretching. warm up everything so it basically uh, improves our metabolism so nowadays everyone in the young generation especially they are more fond of uh, spicy items uh, fried items packed food items junk foods etc that we can avoid we can start having healthy home cooked meals and we can include more vegetables more fruits to our diet a small tip for weight reducing those who want to reduce their weight you can add millets to your diet in the dinner time i prefer home cooked meals the exact time for having food you know it depends on our appetite when we have good appetite we can have food and not before that and after that also because it causes many gas problems ayurveda recommends certain diets like preferences a close and all we mentioned certain quantity i won't say ayurveda doesn't agree with non veg i can say that for certain diseases you know it is recommended not to take certain in non veg items of fish and there is uh, certain diseases in which it is mentioned to to take non vegetarian food like a pigeons meat we have so many preparations with the uh, goats meat also and those who face menstrual problems can uh, do uh, bhadrasanam matsyendrasanam and of course gomukhasanam and also patmasanam that also you can practice working women they are so stressed between the work life and house life first they have to consider their diet they have to take their food on time that's must and then they can adopt yoga as well like they can start with breathing exercises like pranayamas they can do beginners asanas those who face work life stress i would like to advise certain asanas like uh, gomukhasanam merudhandasanam shalabhasanam as well as shavasanam which is best for relief being the stress to increase metabolism ayurveda recommends practicing yoga daily we have to be conscious about our you know food habits and of course sleeping patterns and daily activities mm-hmm.